Jade. I'm the music director and one of the hosts at The Current. And I am so excited to welcome you to Rock the Cradle, Play Along. Here at The Current, we believe that music makes everyday ordinary moments extraordinary. And we're so happy to share some of those moments with you today. And we've invited some of our best friends. So we're gonna have a great moment of dance with House of Dance, and we're gonna get silly with Cuckoo Kangaroo. We're gonna sing along with Galen Lee. We're gonna learn with McPhail Center for Music, and we're gonna create with Bell Museum and loads more. Uh, big thanks to our Rock the Cradle Play Along sponsors, Minneapolis Institute of Art, Bell Museum, Pizza Luce, Little Moments Count, McPhail Center for Music, Sala Architects, and Park Dental. And of course, everything has been made possible from the generous contributions of NPR's Inspired by You campaign. And just a reminder that Rock the Cradle celebrates all sounds for all people of all ages. And your support is what helps ensure that everyone has access to great music. So if you make a donation, you're just gonna keep this great music available for everyone, for this generation and for the next. So if you would like to donate, you can make your gift of support at support.mpr.org slash rock the cradle. And now let's get things started with our friends, Cuckoo Kangaroo. What's up, Rock the Cradle? It's us, Cuckoo Kangaroo. Are you ready to play some mini golf? Whoa, listen to that bass line, Brian. Woo! Got my hips doing a little bit of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide on some astroturf and shake my booty. Booty, 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 booty. Here we go. I move my butt, butt when I'm trying to pump, pump. Butt, butt when I'm trying to pump, pump. Butt, butt when I'm trying to pump, pump. And round. And can you have a march? 
I hold my hands up high, I hold my hands down low, high, low, high, low, around and around and around and around and a marching on we go. Hmm, let's take our shoulders now and let's make our shoulders go high and low. When my shoulders go high, I look like I'm kind of wondering something, right? Asking a question. And then when my shoulders go down, I look very relaxed. I hold my shoulders up high. I hold my shoulders down low. High, low, high, low. Around and around and around and around and marching on we go. Hmm, can we hold our eyebrows up high and low? Okay. I hold my eyebrows up high. I hold my eyebrows down low. High, low, high, low. Around and around and around and around and marching on we go. Let's do our knees next. Here's my knees. I'm gonna put them down low to start. I hold my knees up high. I hold my knees down low. Low, high, low, around and around and around and around and a marching on we go. Now let's do our whole body. I hold my whole body up high. I hold my whole body down low. High, low, high, low, around. This next song is called Bird Song, and it's a duet, meaning it's a song for two people to sing together. So I'm going to need your help to sing this song at home. Since we'll each be singing our own words, this type of a duet is called a counterpoint or a partner song. Here's how it will work. I'm going to set up the loop like you just heard earlier, and then we're going to come in together and sing this line two times. Bird, why do you sing? Fate has clipped your wings. You'll sing it twice with me, and then you're going to keep singing those words again and again and again till the end of the song. Let's practice it together once real quick. So, bird... Why do you sing? Fate has clipped your wings. So I'm going to do other stuff, but you will keep singing those same two lines over again and again and again until we end together. I wrote this song about how even if you feel tied down by your body or the situation around you, that your spirit is always free. So let's try it. This is Birdsong.
Thank you for singing along at home with me. And now a tip from Little Moments Count, sharing the message that brain building begins at birth and it happens in the little moments. Here's a brain building tip about singing. Your voice is music to their brain. So sing your favorite songs any chance you get. Hearing your voice eases stress and calms a baby's heartbeat, even if you sing off tune. Roughly 80% of brain growth happens in the first three years of life. Singing activates a baby's brain, developing the pathways that help their brain grow. So talk, play, read, and sing in small moments every day, because little moments count. Learn more at littlemomentscount.org. My name is Jennifer and I'm from the Bell Museum and we're going to learn how to draw a caterpillar together. Now if you don't know what a caterpillar is, a caterpillar is a baby butterfly or moth. So they start as an egg and then they become a caterpillar and then that caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats, goes into a cocoon or chrysalis and then emerges as a butterfly or a moth. So we're going to draw a caterpillar. I have an example of a butterfly here. This is our a tiger swallowtail butterfly um, and I have an example of the caterpillar we're going to draw although your caterpillar might end up looking different at the end and we'll see why in a minute here. So it's pretty easy you just need a piece of paper and something to draw with. It could be a pencil, it could be a marker, it could be a crayon, it could be anything you have at home. So that's what we're going to do. All right here we go. First step to drawing a caterpillar. We're going to make a big hot dog shape, a big long hot dog shape. And that's the caterpillar's body. It's like its thorax and its abdomen and that's where its giant tummy is and its gut where it has all those leaves going through it because it's going to eat and eat and eat and eat. And our caterpillar is going to be on a little branch or a little twig. So we're going to have a, we're going to make a line just underneath the caterpillar. That's going to be our branch. We're going to add details to it in a minute here. But we know that caterpillars eat a lot. They have to eat a lot. They get really fat and then they change to change into a butterfly. So our caterpillar needs a head because it needs a mouth. So we're going to add a little head, just a circle on the front here. And then we're going to add some big eyes so that it can watch for predators that might like to eat it. And I'm just going to do a little couple little lines here across so that the eye becomes really obvious. There's our big eyes. Now we're going to add a mouth. I'm just going to add a little, you know, little mouth on the side here. Got a little kind of little crunchy little mouth parts on there, little mandibles on there. Now that caterpillar is not going to move around on that twig very well without some legs. So we're going to add some legs. One, two, three. So if you look at a caterpillar, like say an inchworm moving around, those front three on one side, technically they have six. So there'd be three on this side and three on the other side. Those front six legs are their true legs. So when they metamorphose or change into a butterfly, those legs are coming with. On the back end, they have some little extra legs that are pretend legs. One, two, three, four, Five, called pro legs and they're kind of like little extra fake helping hands. They're like little pieces of Velcro that help the caterpillar move along its branch. So that's the basic structure of our caterpillar. Now we get to do a couple of the fun parts to this. We're going to make sure it's on the right type of plant. A lot of caterpillars only eat one or two different types of plants. So we're going to make this a twig. Our caterpillar is going to eat from a tree. And just make kind of a Y shape. So we're going to make a second line underneath our first line and then make an extra Y at the end. Those are the parts of our tree branch. And then the, mo the most important part of the tree branch is what it's going to eat. It's going to eat the leaves. So we're going to give it a couple great big leaves. I'm going to make some heart shaped leaves because I like hearts. If I'd have time, I would color those all in. All right, and then 
This is where you get to be creative. Caterpillars come in all different colors. Some caterpillars, like woolly bears, have real furry sort of little tufts on them. Some caterpillars, like a monarch caterpillar, would be bright yellow and green and white, which tells you that they're poisonous. There's also caterpillars that have little tiny spines on their back or what are sometimes called tentacles, um, which help protect them or trick birds into thinking that one part is the head and the other part isn't. Some have eye spots. They have all sorts of different colors. When I drew my first one, my first one had bright colored stripes, a great big pretend eye spot, and some of these little tiny spines on top. So this one, we might try and do something different. I think we're gonna give it little tiny circles of color. Just a whole bunch of circles there. And mine is gonna have orange tufts or little tiny fur-like hairs on them. So we're gonna give them a lot of little tiny hairs, kind of like a woolly bear caterpillar little mohawk going on. But you can do whatever you want to color your caterpillar. So thanks for joining us and go draw some caterpillars. Let's dance. What's up everybody? My name is Jake Riley, AKA B-Boy Boogie B, and I am a professional breaker or also more widely known as a break dancer. And I'm here at House of Dance Twin Cities, located in Edina, Minnesota. And today, I'm going to teach you three simple moves in this first video as a part of a six video series for Rock the Cradle. All right, so get ready, get set, and let's go. Today, we're gonna start with the bounce, all right? So, from a side view, I like to start from the side. I'm going to bend my knees down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, okay? So, from the front angle, it looks like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, what do we do with our upper body or our arms? Well, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Again, this is getting you into the groove, so you can actually pretend like you have two Basketballs on either side, you can go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or you can go down, up, down, up, down, up, whatever you like. You can play with your hands and really make it your own, okay? Now the next move as a part of our groove series is the rock. Now we're not talking like a rock that you find outside. Think of it more like a rocking chair. If you've ever seen a rocking chair, the chair rocks back, leaning back, arching their back, and forward. Bending forward like we're trying to pick something up. Back, from the side view, forward. You can have your hands here like you're driving a vehicle, okay? You're gonna hold your hands here, we're gonna go back, you can roll the shoulders back, and forward, and back, and forward. Okay, from the side view, let's try it a little quicker now. Three, two, one, we go. Back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, and back, forward. Now, with this move, we can lean from side to side. We don't always have to go front to back, so we can go back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and forward. Okay, and we will do that when we do our combo. The last move, in this first video is what we call a two-step, all right? A two-step. This is our fundamental footwork move that we learn in almost every one of our classes here at House of Hands. So what we're gonna do is start with our hands by our sides. We're gonna step out, bring our hands up by our sides, make our hands look like a star, and step feet together. And step out and together. And step out and together. One more time. Out and together. Okay, now you can add variety to this as well. You can do different things with your hands. Cross your arms in the front. I can slide with my feet and slide with my feet. You can do a lot of different things with these three moves, okay? Uh, with hip hop, it's very individualized, meaning it's about you. 
it's how you make it, okay? So let's try this combo. Here we go. We're gonna do an eight count to each, one time without music, and then one time with music. Here we go, starting with that bounce to an eight count. We go one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rock. Two, three, four, five, six, side to side, eight, two step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can end your combo with some kind of a pose. This will be a common theme throughout each of these videos, striking different poses. All right, let's try it to music. Here we go. Here we go. Five, six, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rock. One, two, three, four, to the side, five, six, seven, eight, two step, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. I hope you enjoyed the first video of the series here. Be sure to tune in to the next one. We're going to be working on a bunch of different styles and moves. Thank you for tuning in here at Rock the Cradle. Peace. Hello, Rock the Cradle. We are Cuckoo Kangaroo. We're going to play a song for you. It's a brand new one. I hope you like honey. It's called Sticky Itchy. Yes, hello. In it, in it, in it, got more bottle shaped like a bear. I can drip, drop, drizzle in everywhere. On my face, on my hands, elbows, and hair. It's a tasty mess, I do declare. Huh? Like the way the bees go buzz. Like the little bug with fun. You can know it's sunny up just because. Gotta give it up for all the bumblebee does. All sticky hickey, honey on my hands. Honey on my hands. Rock the Cradle Play Along is sponsored by Minneapolis Institute of Art, Bell Museum, Pizza Luce, Little Moments Count, McPhail Center for Music, Sala Architects, Park Dental, and made possible by generous contributions to NPR's Inspired by You campaign. If you enjoyed the music featured in this episode, you can find more tunes for your family's dance party on the Rock the Cradle radio stream. Listen at rockthecradle.org on the current app, or just tell your smart speakers to play Rock the Cradle Radio. Rock the Cradle celebrates all sounds for all ages, from local to legendary, indie to influential. Your support helps ensure that everyone has access to great music. Make a donation to ensure Rock the Cradle is freely accessible. Your financial support helps protect and strengthen the music you value most for this generation and the next. Make a gift of support at support.mpr.org slash rock the cradle.